Hello and welcome to this special edition of the Homeland Security Report. I'm David Jones. The little helpers of the infantry soldier. Future combat theatres will always be different than past ones. The circumstances will change. But let's talk about the soldier's gear. Many changes in the air and at sea have completely taken combat into new directions, all of which are aimed at killing the enemy, but they are based on cutting-edge technologies. The ground warrior was somewhat neglected in the process, and this is going to change. As a matter of fact, it is already changing. It's only natural that Israel's defense industries will contribute their technologies to the soldier on the ground. We can now see that the infantry soldier will have big pouches on his combat vest, and they will be full of small, individual helpers. Israel's defense forces, the IDF, have a plan, and the local industry is working to perform it. While Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI, is developing a number of butterflies, that is, miniature intelligence gathering systems, other concepts are already being evaluated. IAI's miniature flying camera is based on mimicking the way butterflies' wings are used in flying. This system, which weighs almost nothing, carries a super miniature camera. Other companies are also joining the trend. Raphael has partially unveiled a small tactical intelligence gathering hovering system. The plan is to equip many soldiers in an infantry unit with this micro hovering system. The hovering system is carried in a small canister stowed in an infantry soldier's personal gear. After mission completion, it can be returned to the canister for further use. According to Raphael, a soldier can carry a number of these hovering systems in his personal gear, together with a small control unit. Operating the micro hovering system is very easy, and according to the Israeli company, the systems, which can hover for 15 minutes, can be operated after battery replacement for 50 hours without maintenance. A micro system can hover to a distance of 1 km from its operator in an urban area and 5 km in an open one. Hovering altitude is 100 meters in an open area and 50 in an urban region. Raphael plans to equip the micro system with a day CCCD camera and with a special night vision sensor. The Israeli company says that the system is capable of detecting a person from a range of 180 meters, recognize him at a 60 meter range and incriminate him at a range of 30 meters. Vehicles can be detected at a range of 400 meters and recognized at a range of 60 meters. Israeli sources told IHLS that the system is a real revolution in the tactical intelligence field, especially for small units that covertly move rapidly from point to point. And these two helpers are also those that have been unveiled. Other helpers have been developed and others are still in the development process. Miniaturization of sensors and power sources allow these gadgets to become an integral part of the list of personal gear a soldier carries and wears in combat. While these trends are obvious to allow the soldier almost full autonomy in combat, the new systems will allow each soldier to detect targets, identify them and either kill them with his assault rifle, which is equipped with a day and night optical system, or transmit the coordinates to other soldiers or other systems such as unmanned air systems. The new technologies have one thing in common, they are miniaturized versions of bigger ones. The ability to scale the systems down allows the developers to feature many capabilities soldiers carry and wear, without impeding their free movement. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching this edition of the Special Report. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, please click the link below.